Hello, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan Venegas, and I am Pastor Hugo Venegas' daughter from the First United Methodist Church in Pueblo, Colorado. And I just wanted to go ahead and film a video saying thank you to a lot of the hometown heroes that are continuing to provide comfort um, and consistency in a time of a lot of uncertainty. Um, to people like Cheyenne and Jessica who are working in the medical community, um, thank you so much for what you do, for dedicating your time, talents, um, being courageous, providing comfort in a time where people are really scared um, and we aren't sure exactly what's going on. And so for your transparency and communication from the medical community, as well as the dedication that it takes to continue to serve on the front lines with this pandemic, thank you. Um, for those of you that are serving in kind of a background scene, um, to Morgan, Brandy, and Jewel, holy cow, it has made a dramatic increase um, of positivity in my life um, to see how many of you have donated to logistical support um, to mailing and making masks. Um, when we got told we had to wear masks at work, um, we were limited. We were not allowed to go to stores or if we were able to go to stores, we weren't able to find fabric to make masks or mask themselves. And so for those of you that were a part of um, the creation and getting dozens of masks to me and the people that I work for, um, thank you so much for all of that. That great dedication of your time as well um, has provided not only a safe community for me to work in, but also a safe community that they're able to engage with their family and their friends and feel comfortable knowing that they have protection. Um, to those of you who are continuing to pray, not only for myself, but the servicemen and women that I'm with, uh, for Dini and Truman, um, your prayers have been heard. Um, the guardian angels have been protecting myself as well as the people that I work with as we are able to contain illnesses and continue to move forward and fight the good fight. Um, for those of you who have previously served in the military or are friends and family of servicemen and women, um, thank you for your commitment and your support. Um, it means a lot, and a lot of the world is constantly tumultuous, and we don't exactly know what's going to happen. And so thank you for laying a foundation that we know that we can come home to, as well as a foundation that constantly follows us everywhere in a support network. Um, it really means a lot. And for Chaplain Bob, um, your prayers, your guidance with my dad um, has been extremely crucial and incredibly helpful in our relationship and in a world where social isolation is the thing and we are not able to cultivate such intimate relationships with each other as much. Um, thank you to everyone who has continued to be present and engaged in not only my dad's life um, but in the entire community as you figure out new ways, whether it's virtual church or virtual Bible studies or book drives or whatever you are doing. Um, thank you for reaching outside of your community to continue to be beacons of hope and change and light and consistency. Um, we need more people like you and I am so grateful for having the opportunity to um, get to experience the dividends of some of the service that you guys are doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, from the bottom of my heart, and uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you guys in the near future.